Good morning. Good morning. I just want to say, um, yeah, we talk about a lot of good stuff. Our cameras cut off. My camera cut off abruptly at the end. So, um, oh, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> you didn't see my titties. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, don't mind the stuff in the background. Uh, enjoy this video. It's just a chill video. Of, like my bestest friend. Uh, we've been friends since eighth grade. <laughs> And now we're old biddies. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Bye. It's me, Jazzy, and I'm here with my bestest friend, Princess, <laughs> which you can call her. All right, we're here with another sister talk that's going to blow your mind. Can you believe it? More sister lock ladies <laughs> in my life. Uh, she's the reason that I got sister locks. So. Oh, I did not know that. No, I didn't know they existed before. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that makes me really happy. You and your mom have sister locks too, huh? Oh my yeah. god, we should have like a mother daughter, mother daughter, like, oh my god. sister lock competition thing. Oh my god. The daughters will win though, for sure. For sure. Okay. You got a lot of time. I feel okay, like okay. 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 So, tell us about your sister locks. Um, what? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I know words. Um, I got my sister locks about six and a half years ago. Okay, so they're six six years locks. Yep. And then um, below her nipples, and I'm yo oh. look. Okay, look. The shit hits my hip or wow. stuff. Sorry, right <laughs> when it's but then it bounces back. Yeah, up. it's like up here. But I be feeling shrinkage is real. Shrinkage. And I, 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 shrinkage. I, I like the shrinkage aspect of sister locks though. Why? Because it makes it feel I don't know less. Hard as traditional locks. I don't know. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they have some bounce to them. Yeah. And you, my hair was a lot shorter than my than yours mm -hmm. when I got locks. You had really long hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I was like, oh shit. Yeah. So your locks have always been long. I had mine started like up here. When when I got my locks, you're two years in. Our locks were like the same length. But yeah. then you took off because you were in a different growth phase than I was. I was growing out and you were actually like growing to down. Condensed down, yeah. yeah. I think my curl pattern is tighter than yours too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hence the bounce. Yeah, it's different different textures. It's so cool. Yeah, I love I love that about sister locks too. Because yours is so yours are like really full mm -hmm. all the time. Mine are kinda like crinkly. Yeah. It's like it's compact, it's doing its thing. So yeah. Mistakes. Oh, no, first of all, <laughs> let's, let's get into what we love about sister life. Yeah. <laughs> what so I love? love that I never have to comb my hair. Yes. Um, also, I feel like sister locks are really, um, really, really versatile because you can braid them, you can twist them, you can wear them out. Right. After you wash them, you don't have to I'll worry about it. Anything. Anything. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> once in a blue moon, I'll like put a little twist in the front of my hair. Yeah. And people are like, oh, it looks so nice. Right. And I'm like, yep, this mm -hmm. took five minutes. That's all it is. That's too much time. <laughs> but that's the thing is you can, I think lo sister locks are like the locks for lazy girls. Yeah. Like if all you want to do is wash your hair and separate the locks. And even sometimes you don't have to separate the locks. I don't, if you I'll be honest with you. <laughs> My loctician now doesn't complain about separating the locks. She just kind of does it. So I'm like, I, if you ain't gonna complain, <laughs> then I'm never gonna do it. I, uh, I might like occasionally play in my hair and separate it. Mm -hmm. But as far as like having a sit down session separating my locks, I don't do that. I do like really simple. So like now my the locks that are in the front are like kind of wavy. Mm -hmm. Cause I did a braid out, so I'll wash my hair and then I'll separate my locks into like 16 braids, and that's as much as I separating as I do, and then I'll braid them. So like four, four, four. You know, four. I did like a little curl. It's very cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. Damn, these locks are thick. You have so much hair. I yeah. know. I just like looking at yours. Like wow, yours is is actually very like mine look like brother locks compared to yours. Yeah, you have so much hair. That's dope though. I think it, part of it is the curl pattern too, yeah. cause mine is so tight. And they just like shrivel into each other. Have you dyed your hair black or is your hair just that black? My hair's just as dark. Okay. It also looks darker next, next to the blonde ones. ones. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of blonde. Who? Speaking of this. Y'all. Lord, don't ever lift the color in your hair. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very hard headed. So like when my loctician was like, don't ever bleach your hair. Don't get the color lifted. Our locks are too soft for that. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But my heart was like, ah, I really want turquoise hair. So a couple years ago. I got about 50 of my locks dyed, or blonde, so, oh no, this one's coming off. Jesus! That's a, oh. Jesus! 
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. She did it. It was time to go. Um, and they, I'm gonna keep it. it really damages the structure of your lot. Are you going to keep it? Yeah. I used to take the bits that are tied and like tie them around stuff. Keep okay. it and I'll I can't believe she just there. snatched her lock out like it was. I mean, I would too. It was a, yeah. I think I used to hold on because I was really concerned about length. Yeah. But now I really care about um health. like health. Yeah. And just if this is time to go, this is time to go. So I I didn't, I've never told her this, but um one time she was up here um and I seen the back and I saw it locked. I was like, oh, that's princess. But I saw the portion of her hair that was broken off. I was like, wait a minute, that's too short to be princess. Let me go mm. sit down. I was like, I don't know. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I okay. think that's her, but it could, you know. You're like, mm, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So the blonde is all really short. And when I braid it back or I do something with it, you can't, it blends in pretty well. Um, but when it's out like this, you can tell where the, the blonde stopped. I might get a close up look. Okay. I definitely, yeah. what I like about the blonde is that you can keep recoloring it, but it just, like, the hair is really structurally weak. Yeah. And it's like, that's enough to stress me out. <laughs> you know, the yeah. The ones that have broken off. Yeah. I think it was a good lesson learned, though. Some yeah. of them are still long, though. Yeah. Like, just chilling, being healthy. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah, you just, no bleach. Never again. That one never. I that remember was, you were looking at pastel sh- color, like paint type, putting in your hair. Or was that me? That was probably me looking on YouTube. People oh, coloring. Oh, you hair. know, I did look into pastel. Though, okay, but I was really worried about build up, so um, I didn't yeah. want to like. Yeah. So, like, in, in hindsight, build up or breakage, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll take the build up. Any day. You can always die, build up. I mean, you know, I think, so. yeah, some people are bold, and this is why, you know, you can learn from her lesson. <laughs> or you could be hard headed and, and dye your hair. Maybe yeah. your hair is a little bit tougher. I don't know. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. I don't regret it at all, though. Because I know it's like hair, and it'll grow back. And my hair grows pretty healthy. Yeah. I think if I had thinning hair, or I was a little bit older, I probably wouldn't Yeah. have, like, tried it. But I was like, I'm in my 20s. Yeah, I just... I'd cry. Yeah. Right, one time. Would you ever do the tips? Do you know, I've thought about, about it. Like, yeah, just, like, the tips. Mm-hmm. I probably would do the tips. But I'd have to be... I don't know what color I would do. Well, the thing about bleaching them is that once you bleach them, you can dye them whatever color and just okay. do temporary dye. So and that's what I do. So I I usually go red or turquoise. Yeah, and the blue is really pretty. The turquoise. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know my colors. I thought that was purple, but oh well. Nope, not purple. <laughs> Through it. Yeah. That's what I like about Sister Lacks too is that there's so many stages to everything. Yeah. So like, I feel like the first two years were my ugly stage where they were just like. I think those were not yeah. ugly stage. That was the stage where I was like, yes, I'm doing it. Oh, <laughs> bless your heart. Okay, because yeah. I definitely, I think I was like waiting for my locks to get healthy and long. Uh-huh. So I was just like, okay. Yeah, what's the length going to come? Right. And I, and because so much of it was processed down at the end, it was just like. That's probably why. Really I healthy and yeah. scraggly. I liked it because it still had that wavy look on the end. Mm. Now I can, I can kind of get waves now. I mean, like. I, th- I much prefer this look because it is all my natural hair in the yeah. this process. But before, I didn't want it. Yeah. But I, I also never wore extensions or anything before I got me lost. Me either. I never did extensions. I never did relaxers. And I never oh, dyed my hair. I definitely did relax. <laughs> I was like, that's okay. I have locks now. I'm, Would you ever cut your locks off? Off? I feel like I only ever answer that question when black women ask me that. Because yeah. usually when other people ask, I'm like, oh, you don't understand what locks are. Um, yeah, you can't take them. It's not like a, yeah. Yeah, like I'm not taking them out. This, yeah. this is a lifelong commitment. Right. Um, would you? I think I have to think about that. Um, like, no, I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because then I I have dreams where I, my, I comb out my locks or my locks fall off and then I just have my afro. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh shit, what have I done? What am I going to do with my hair now? I don't know mm. what to do. And it was very stressful and anxiety. And I was like, no. Yeah, but stressful. I feel like... I see some people who are like very like spiritual. I feel like they're very in tune with your spirit, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, they they are ones that more tend to like. I have to cut my hair off. I had a yeah. really like, bad traumatic life experience, and I just want to start over. I think something really traumatic would have to happen. Yeah. Like because so I made that post on Instagram a while ago. Like I have a funny shaped head, <laughs> but more seriously, I think that hair is really sacred, mm-hmm. and it is a blessing to me that like 
even though in my younger years I like did not take very good care of my hair and then sometimes didn't take very good care of my health uh -huh. then my hair still continues to grow yeah in the texture that it grows and I have the opportunity to have it and I really like I like that like my locks are thinner when it was growing in times that I was really stressed and uh -huh. they're thicker in times of abundance and like that story is really beautiful to me so something really extreme would have to happen for me to say like I'm just gonna not have them yeah because I don't desire to not have hair yeah and I'm, I think I experience spirituality like through my hair yeah, really often. Yeah, and, it, yeah. and it's a way that I connect with my mom. Uh huh. Same, um, same. Yeah. Very yeah. good bonding time. Having a mom with locks <laughs> is really nice, huh? And your sister had locks too, but she cut hers off. Yeah, because my sister was like, I'm done. This is like <laughs> hair is hair and I don't want to deal with this anymore. So for her, it was really liberating. Yeah. I think for me, it would be very. Not that I don't. I don't think I rely on my hair. But I, but it is a part of me that I like hold very near. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Eugenia <laughs> cut my hair one time in a joke. Okay, so like. What? So like, I feel like he should have never done that. But also, I can kind of see where he came from. My husband cutting my hair. So we were playing around. We were very goofy. We were having fun. And he was cutting his hair. And I like, he was cutting his beard, lining his beard up. And I was like bumping him while he was doing his lineup. And I was trying to You're do it. You're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. But I was trying to do it where like he was like paused and then I would bump. But then I caught him as he was going in and I bumped and he nicked his, yes. but it's his beard. And then he came at me and he, with some scissors and got on top of me and like cut and like two locks came out. Okay. It was like the ends of the locks. Like it was like probably that. But that <laughs> still was traumatic. I was like, why would you cut my hair? That's abusive. And I just... We don't go there no more. Don't. Yeah, no, I feel like that's a line. I mean, like, it's your beard, like, I, but that grows back. But I mean, hair grows back. Yeah, the face that you cut. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you shave mm -hmm. and reshaping your beard all the time. Like, yeah, I think with locks is different because there is a, a like semi spiritual commitment when you decide that I'm going to have this hairstyle that is permanent. Yeah, and there's a reason why it's permanent, mm -hmm. right? And for someone to jeopardize that, like, I'm not saying that he did it with malintent. No, yeah. And I know you guys play around with each other all the time, so I'm sure. Like, <laughs> but I was just livid. Like, like yeah. I was, like, in tears. Like, don't do that. I get livid even when people that I don't know ask to touch my hair. Yeah. Like, how fucking do, audacity. How do you do with that? Because I, I'm such a very, like, in my brain, I'm a thug, but, like... <laughs> When I'm, the reality. When I'm, it's like, oh, if this person says this to me, and then they say it, and then I don't do nothing. Right, you're like, well, uh, it was not a big deal. Yeah, I'll so I get, person. like, I'm, I'm okay, like, I have, like, older black women, especially when they have locks themselves, touch mm -hmm. my hair. I don't even, mm -hmm. like, feel like, I can just feel the energy when you touch yeah. my hair, but sometimes people touch it, and it's like, oh, I'm not a dog. <laughs> you know, I think black women, I always say yes to. Yeah. Because I think that there's an understanding about, like, just to be a black woman that embraces any hairstyle yeah. is a political statement. Yeah. Even if you're like a black woman who relaxes her hair. So uh -huh. I feel like there's like a level of trust and understanding that comes with that. Yeah. But people who are not black, it takes a while for me to decide like, is this person safe? Right. And in general, the people that I know and love who are not black people uh -huh. wouldn't even be like, oh, can I touch your hair? Like right. that's not... Yeah. Like there's an understanding. So when people... I have no problem when non-black strangers ask me to, to yeah. touch my hair. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, it is an extension of my body. Yeah. And I... I feel like don't. people don't... People don't ask me that. I feel oh. like they just see it in my face. I carry my emotions well in my face. So I don't get, like, uh, a lot of non-black people asking me. Yeah. With locks. Now, with my... When I have my natural loose hair, mm -hmm. they wouldn't ask. They would just start petting me from the back. And that happened to me in high school. It was Asian chick was like touching my hair. I'm like, did she just touch my hair? And that's when oh. I was the least outspoken or mm. spoke my mind. I was just like, I, I would have really crushed your violated. <laughs> I think what it is is I have practice because my nieces are all little black girls who have natural hair. Uh huh. And when people in public try to touch their, a lot of strangers will try to touch their hair because they're really cute. That I have this reflex where I'm like, no, you need to ask for yeah. permission. They have body autonomy. Um, so like, since I my oldest niece was born when I was what fifteen, wow. I've just been like, wow, that's right, Dude, summer, yeah, yo, yeah, <laughs> so she's ten, bro. I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> um, but I just like that's a reflex for me to try to protect them and their autonomy. And it's been in my family, we're really adamant about like your body is your own. It's right. not okay for people to touch you without that. So then it like 
when it comes to myself, I don't have a problem either. But people don't really try to touch. I also have resting bitch face. So people approach yeah. me and I look like I'm upset that they're there. Mm-hmm. My favorite is when um, white dudes that think they're hip are like, oh, I see you with the micro braids. And I'm like, oh, I'm oh, like, it, they're not even no. braids, sir. <laughs> and are you still getting confused with your locks with for braids? Because I used to in the beginning, mm-hmm. but like now everybody's like nice dress. Before it was like nice braids. Now yeah. it's nice dress. I think the size of your words makes them really distinguishable. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Because a lot of people will think that they're micro braids and they'll ask me, like, oh, how long did it take you to braid your hair? And I, really politely, especially with black women, I'm like, oh, actually, this is still locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't realize how yeah. big my locks were until I compared them to yours. It's yeah. actually pretty crazy. And that was the size that I was trying to get. My mom is in between me and you. Mm. Yeah, she's like in the middle. Okay. And she, I kind of I want to shave like a few rolls. Oh, yeah? But I'm, I'm, I would never. Like, I want to, you would do but I would. That? I, like, I want to, mm-hmm. but I would never. <laughs> I feel that. I feel like you would really pull it off, though. Yeah. It would look nice on you. It would, and then it would just be less money to get my hair retightened. <laughs> it would take, like, 30 minutes less. You yeah. just shaved off a few rows. And then it's the keeping up with it and then hoping that the person who cuts my hair doesn't cut into my locks. And then it's just... Mm. I'm very nervous. Could like, Eugene cut your hair? He could, but he's like, I don't want to cut you. Because after that incident of him cutting my hair, <laughs> he's like, I don't want to... <laughs> No, I'm not messing with that fire. But I think, honestly, because I'm very tender-headed in the back, and it's just, that's like, I'd be in tears in the chair. And, uh... You know, that's something that surprised me about getting locks. Because I was always really tender-headed. Uh-huh. And now, even when I get retights, even though, like, I separate my locks, there's not really a whole lot to separate or do, I still feel very tender afterwards. Like, yeah. I got my locks retightened yesterday. And afterwards, I was like, my scalp Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I go to a lady in LA now, but when I'm in town, I go to Kim, um, my cousin who lives in Vancouver, named she, Kim Webster. Hey. She installed yours, right? Uh huh. And my mama's. Oh yeah. Crazy. And now you guys go to somebody that's closer. Uh right? okay. yeah, but she's so expensive. It was so much cheaper going to your cousin, mm. but it's the drive and. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. Wait, what were we talking about before that? What were we talking about before that? Something about getting a main t- Oh, being tenderheaded. Yeah, being tenderheaded. Yeah. I'm still tenderheaded. And I'm still tenderheaded. Yeah. I thought yeah. with with the person I go to now, I'm very tenderheaded. But when I went to your cousin, I wasn't as tenderheaded. It, it was I was tender afterwards, but the process of getting it done. Oh yeah, she's so gentle. Gentle. But this lady is like, oh my god. And I'd be like, oh, trying to run from her in a mm-hmm. chair. And she'd be like, pulling on my locks, like, why are you running? Why are you running? And it's like, because it hurts. And yeah. then if I'm already like, I have, uh, so if you don't mind me asking, mm-hmm. how much does it cost for you? Because you're in California, you're in the LA mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. So all of the locticians, mm-hmm. when I first moved to LA, I reached out to a bunch of locticians on the National Registry. Uh-huh. Um, and they all pretty much were like, Retights usually cost somewhere between 100 and 120. Mm-hmm. Um, and so every time I go, I pay about, I pay 100, and it usually takes her about two hours and 45 minutes to do the retight. For your whole hair? Yes, but she works really fast because she does not care that I'm tender headed. She just be boop, 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 boop. Um, and I didn't realize that that was really fast until I went to Kim recently and she was like taking her time and really slow. Um, so it's about standard, and I think. It shocked me at first, though, because, um... Shocked you how... Because I was getting a family discount when yeah, I was with yeah, my cousin, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I was, I was like, getting family, family, <laughs> I was getting that family discount, too, which is like, almost like I probably should go back, because now, even with the drive and gas, it costs me it's cheaper than where I'm going to. Remind now. me, how much does it cost for you to get a retype? Um, last time, it was about 360 For a retype? Head. And it takes her four hours to do half my head. Well, how many lots do you have? I don't... She's very slow. She's very mm-hmm. meticulous about her parts, and mm-hmm. she makes sure she gets all the hairs. Like if you were to go in, it would probably take about that much time too. Yeah, um, and I it's don't, like I can't, my heart. It's like I love the outcome, but I'm okay with a messy lock. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. um, but uh, I don't know. I just now I'm like I like her. I really mm-hmm. do. But like she's going up in price, and I ain't. My mom is 150 for the whole head, and that's like reasonable. Mm-hmm. But I looked at her parts. And they're not as crispy. Oh, and, he goes with my y'all. Yeah. Mm. So three sixty. Now I'm getting my hair retight every five weeks, so it was a little less this time. Shit, Jasmine. It was like a little less yeah. than two hundred. Uh, yeah. less than three hundred. But um, 
Yeah. Okay, that's an investment. I mean, I mean, you're a good I, I go every eight weeks. Oh. And my and I think it's also because your the texture of your hair is really soft. Mine is I, my locks hard locked yeah. really early, like within the first year. Yeah. Mine. So even if I go a long time without a retight, like I have new growth, but because my hair is so uh, like kinky, it doesn't really. I don't know. I mean, you can you can still see like the difference. I'm jealous. Cause I'm thinking California prices are gonna be more, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's just how meticulous she is. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I'm one of those like I don't just be hopping in everybody's chair, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And my mom has went through a few sister opticians, and she yeah. has some some funky stuff Mission's going because on. Of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that that would be the thing about locks too is that it's such a like personalized experience. I mean, yeah. with every with every hairdresser, right? Yeah. Um. But particularly with locks, because when they're installed, they're installed on a grid. Right. And it's very easy to do that poorly. Yeah. Or for locticians to, like, critique each other's, right? Because yeah. it's specific where you're supposed to do it with sister locks. I she tells me to do stuff with my hair, and I lie and say I do it. And Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes she's like, yeah, okay, yeah, it looks better. I'm like, okay, good, because I, I ain't did that. She's like, are you using the conditioner I told you? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, which shape bottle? Uh, I think it's the right It might be. Is it? Yeah, long. It's kind of she told me that I looked it up. I can't even like now. I kind of want to use it, but I can't even go and ask her. Hey, what's the name of the shampoo? Because I told her that I bought it already. Maybe you could say that you lost it and then be like, I, and I can't like remember. I can't remember, my husband threw it out because he was cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> what was it called again? You have a husband. It? You can do stuff like that. Like if I didn't have locks, I would just be like, whatever. Dude. I think about that all the time. Like, yeah. when I have locks, my shit would be... And actually, before I got locks, people were, like, telling me I shouldn't get locks because of the, the way I was, mm -hmm. but they didn't transfer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, as long as I have an appointment, I'll go. Now, I've gone yeah. four months before without a retype. What? Like, what? Even... six months because I was transitioning jobs and I couldn't get the days off and yeah. this person, you know, and then mm -hmm. I just, like, oh, I'm going to reschedule and then I don't because my thing is... You didn't buy it. Don't reschedule. That's, mm. That was on me. But then when I went to go reschedule, they're booked. So now yeah. I have to go to somebody else and it was a hot mess. I and you survived. Because your locks still look... I, I had locks. I probably did that three times in the five, four years that I had my locks. And went. What was it like when you went to go get your, re your retail? You did Wait. You went six months, four times? So <laughs> six months, months one time. Oh my God, Jasmine. <laughs> six months, <laughs> one time. And then four months, the other two times. Like I missed a retail and then I just got... In like maybe a couple of weeks after the second retype would have been scheduled if I was still on time. So. Oh my god. And I was at eight weeks at that time. Oh my god. So I remember one time <laughs> when I was going to my cousin, I think I went 12 weeks. And she was like, please don't ever do that again. We'll yeah. figure something out. I think that's, that's why it happened. I switched a lot to because she was like, uh-uh, you should just try someone close because she did not want to be a wife.